Philip Schofield sensationally quit this morning recently after being put under the spotlight with rumors of a feud between him and co-star Holly Willoughby. After his exit, Philip, 61, confirmed rumors he had had an affair with a younger male colleague whilst married to his wife, Stephanie Lowe. Since the confession, ITV has been blasted by other former This Morning employees over its alleged toxic environment. Express.co.uk previously approached ITV for comment. An emotional Philip gave a candid interview with the BBC on Wednesday where revealed he had suffered suicidal thoughts, explaining his two daughters haven't left me for a moment. As with other news outlets, the BBC has given the story a lot of attention but has been criticized for the witch hunt on Philip Schofield as some viewers defended the presenter and called for an end to the coverage. ITV has said it investigated rumors of an affair between Schofield and the unnamed colleague in 2020, but was not provided with, and did not find, any evidence of a relationship beyond hearsay and rumor. It's said that both Schofield and his colleague categorically and repeatedly denied the rumors when questioned at the time. Speaking to BBC's Amol Rajan, Philip explained he was desperately sorry about the affair he had had with a young ITV runner. He went on to say that although it had been wrong, it had been a consensual relationship and was not illegal. He appeared emotional as he stated he had lost everything and that his daughters had been scared to leave him alone. Some BBC viewers have since aired concern for Philip and blasted the broadcaster for its ongoing coverage of the story. Don't miss! Carol McGiffin claims Philip Schofield is taking fall for ITV, video, TikTok prankster Mizzy snatches Newsnight host Kirsty Warks Water, latest. BGT viewers brand show a fix as they vow will never watch again, reaction, on Saturday's BBC Breakfast, the show's Newswatch segment addressed complaints made to the channel throughout the week. One viewer had written, the continuing navel-gazing by the TV media gives the impression that something illegal has happened. If it came to light that such was the case, then it would bear such coverage, but until then it smacks of playing to the lowest common denominator. We should have moved on from this and I expect better from the BBC. Another defended Philip's right to a private life and added, the family of Philip Schofield must be horrified by this witch hunt. One viewer joined Newswatch to air her concerns over the interview with Philip and claimed other important news was being ignored in favor of the scandal. Teresa Hughes stated, I felt compelled to email because when the BBC News headlines on Sunday at 7 o'clock was the Philip Schofield slash Holly Willoughby story, for me that was positively tabloid Esquire and not what I would expect from the BBC. There's been a cover-up allegedly about PPE, there is a war in Europe, we are facing the biggest cost of living crisis in decades, people are struggling. And we are looking at Philip and Holly, is there really an appetite for this? In a statement to Newswatch, the BBC commented, Philip Schofield is a prominent public figure and there have been high levels of interest in the story from our audience. The story has raised important issues of public interest, and we have followed developments in the story throughout the week, this included an interview with Philip Schofield by Amol Rajan, which scrutinized his actions and reflected on the level and nature of media attention. Express.co.uk has contacted BBC for a comment. BBC Breakfast airs daily from 6am on BBC One.
Oh,